We present Dynabar, Neural Dynamic Image-Based Rendering. Given a monocular video of a complex dynamic scene, we tackle the problem of synthesizing views at new camera poses and times. One application is 3D stabilization. Given shaky footage like this, generate a video by rendering novel views along a smooth camera trajectory. Here are results from two state-of-the-art video stabilization methods applied to this task. On videos with complex camera and object motion, these methods can produce jittery artifacts around moving objects and may not succeed in producing a non-shaky video. We can also apply 3D approaches to video stabilization. Here are results from two recent dynamic view synthesis methods. Such methods work well for short video clips or for object-centric scenes with constrained camera motion, but on long videos with complex camera and object motion, they produce very blurry or inaccurate renderings. Our approach significantly improves rendering fidelity in such challenging scenarios. Our method has many other applications. With it, we can perform a dolly zoom on a frozen in time subject. We can re-render video from a fixed camera position. or we can combine novel view synthesis with a slow motion effect. Our method enables realistic renderings of complex dynamic scenes captured with a variety of camera motions, such as cameras circling a subject as in these two examples. Now we compare our approach with baselines. Here we show comparisons with depth-based warping using consistent dynamic video depth and with a dynamic nerf method called neural scene flow fields. Depth-based rendering generates holes, fails to model complex scene geometry and cannot capture view-dependent effects. NSFF produces realistic backgrounds but struggles to render detail in dynamic regions, leading to excessive blurriness. Here we compare with NSFF and with DVS, another NERF-based dynamic view synthesis method. DVS produces even blurrier output. Our approach combines the advantages of both of these types of methods, enabling much higher quality space-time view synthesis results. Now we compare our method with previous approaches on synthesizing views along a smooth camera path. We observe that our method is much better at preserving detail while avoiding distortion. We can visualize our estimated geometry by showing the expected depth along each ray. The resulting depth is consistent over time and captures detail in fine structures, such as the foliage in the background and the hair on the foreground subject in this example. Our method factorizes scenes into a static and a dynamic component with two separate representations, and accurately captures both stationary and moving scene elements. 
These swaying bushes are particularly challenging because of their subtle motion. Our method can also enable downstream video applications such as high quality video bokeh with control over aperture and focal plane. Or by rendering the scene from a virtual stereo camera pair, we can create a stereo video from monocular input. Thank you for watching.